it is important that uh, the voice of the child that is having a sentence innocently is also added in this space. We are here not because of imprisonment, not because of crime, but because of a child. Since morning, we've had wonderful speeches, all touching on a child. But the unique child that nobody seems to remember is a child serving a sentence, even in the mother's womb. And this is the child that I'm here to represent. The Kenya Prison Service, in collaboration with ECDN and the Africa Early Child Network, early this year had a workshop. And the workshop led to a collaboration. And it is this, this collaboration that brings us here today. I've said I'm not going to make a speech or even a presentation. I'm just going to say why we are here. And we had two-day workshop. And in this workshop, we were looking at who is this child that is serving a sentence without a warrant? Because for you to be in prison, you must be there legally. And to be there legally, you must have committed a crime. But there's this child embedded on the back of the mother. There's this child that is not seen even as the mother goes through the criminal justice system. And we, we spoke about this child, and the experts made us realize that there is a gap. And this gap leads to challenges. And therefore, during those two, two days workshop, we were able to develop strategies and identify solutions and opportunities for, la, for collaboration to help improve service provision in fe, female penal institutions in the country. We have 43 penal female institutions in the country with a total of 250 children as at today. We actually two, having 248 as at now. I hope no other one has been born. And these children are spread in our different facilities in the country. And uh, the workshop was to uphold the right, looking at upholding the right of every child to survival protection, and security in accordance with the Constitution of Kenya, the international, regional, and na national instruments that govern the welfare and rights of the child. And we came up with objectives which have been highlighted, highlighted here already as the objectives of this workshop. And therefore, as we look at the objectives of the workshop, we are also addressing the objectives that brought me here to represent the child that is serving a sentence without a warrant. So the, the, that workshop was looking at sharing findings of studies which had been conducted by the Africa Early Child Network and other agencies in prisons. We were to share experiences of child care across the 43 penal institutions. And number three, we were to identify persistent challenges and innovative child care practices adopted over time in our women prisons and then define a workable solution and a work plan to address the issues. And I'm happy to say that out of this, we came up with one that is very critical, which we've also spoken to here, and this is coming up with a child care policy addressing child care in our penal institutions in Kenya. And we have our lead team, Afghan. We have uh, Dr. Moma leading also that team, and they're helping us come up with that, that um, policy. And in the next few weeks, I know that we shall be having the zero draft of that policy. Thank you very much. The policy will help us address those gaps and have child care anchored onto the other government programs and then it, it will attract funding, it will rightfully place the child where the child needs to be. And I want to appeal that all of us here should think in terms of where do we place a child who is born in prison because the mother found themselves in an offense when they were expecting. 
What do you want to say when a child is born in a prison, brought up in a confined area? What happens within those 1,000 days? Let us ponder these questions and come up with solutions that will help us deal with our children who are serving sentences when they are innocent. Thank you, Afast. Ladies, I know that you are with me in this.